and welcome to Voice with Julia. Today, I'd like to talk to you about tongue posture. And not tongue posture while you're singing, but tongue posture in your daily life and how it affects your singing. Much like our body posture, our tongue posture plays a huge role in our physical health. Dentists and orthodontists have long studied the importance of correct tongue posture and the effects it has on our jaw health, our sinus health, even our postural health. When you hear the phrase, relax your tongue, what do you think? If you're like most people, you think that the tongue will relax onto the bottom part of the mouth, almost in a position like this. Uh. However, that is actually incorrect. The correct resting position of the tongue should actually be against the hard and soft palate of the mouth actually on the roof of the mouth. Sounds crazy, right? Like I said before, this tongue posture has been advocated by many orthodontists in the past, and you can read studies documented as far back as the 19th century, discussing how the tongue elevated in the roof of the mouth actually helps maintain the jaw health and the sinus health, as well as creates the correct muscular structure of the face and the neck. Most recently, Dr. Mike Mew has been actively advocating the importance of this tongue posture, and he's actually created quite a phenomenon called mewing, which has become a YouTube subculture with many instructional videos on how to mew and the effects of mewing on the face shape and attractiveness and all of these things. I don't think that's quite going to happen, especially with a fully formed adult face, but I do think it is essential for good singing, and I'll explain why in a moment. As I advocate in my teaching, the back of the tongue should be arched slightly towards the palate when singing. Because the palate and the tongue work in tandem, when the tongue is slightly raised, so is the palate, and that's very important in singing. What we do in our everyday life has a very strong effect on what's gonna happen when we start to sing. And that is why I believe maintaining this correct tongue posture really helps alleviate a lot of tongue tension problems. So when we are at rest, our whole tongue should come up onto the roof of our mouth to rest. And an easy way to find this is if you take the tip of your tongue and you trace it back from the upper front teeth about a half of an inch, okay? And then you're going to suck really hard the back of the tongue up into the soft palate like this. and you should feel that suction. It kind of creates that sort of sound when you release it. So find that position again. Tongue about a half inch back from the upper front teeth, and then you're going to suck the back of the tongue up. And in the beginning, I would suggest playing around with this position because it's a little tricky, especially if you're not used to that or if you're used to relaxing your tongue straight down in the bottom of your mouth, okay? so. You want to kind of suction pretty hard in the beginning so you can find that position. And I suggest maybe doing 10 reps of this, holding for like 10 to 15 seconds at a time. So you go and hold that for 10, 15 seconds, and then do that for another 10 times, okay? That's a good exercise to sort of train the tongue to go into that position. Once you find this correct tongue position, you want to be sure that the lips close very gently and you maintain space between the teeth and this is a very important part because you want to train these muscles to relax so if your tongue is sucked up the lips close slightly and these teeth are open maybe that much okay so you don't feel that tension in the jaw that clenching all right and you'll have to play around with this don't give up Play around and find where it feels natural and comfortable for you. It may take a couple weeks, that's okay. What are some of the benefits of correct tongue posture on singing? Less warm up time, greater ease in your high notes, easier registrational balance, less vocal fatigue, less jaw tension, and greater carrying power or ring of the voice. I'd say those are some pretty great benefits. So it's worth playing around and seeing how this affects your voice. Thank you so much for watching.
please give this a try and let me know in the comments how it worked for you. And I invite you to visit my website at www.voicewithjulia.com for more information about myself and my teaching. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining me here. Bye.